Okay, so now I want to multiply this vector by a scalar. And um, numerically, what's going to happen if I multiply a vector by a scalar is I'm just going to take each individual component and I'm going to multiply it by that scalar number. So in this case, the vector would be the same, but if this were 2, then the vector would be 2, 4, 0. And easily enough in Bifrost, if I want to do that, I'll just plug it, both those into a multiply node. Now, I set this back to 1, and I plug this in here. I can see nothing changes, like I said. It's um, still the same vector, but what happens if I set this to 2? Well, you can see the length of the vector changes, and the direction stays the same, and in fact is going to be twice the length of the previous vector. Now, basically what it means, scaling a vector, or multiplying a vector by a scalar, is just scaling it, keeping the direction the same, and changing the length. What happens if we go into the negative? Well, in this case, if I multiply it by minus 1, I'm keeping the length the same, but I'm flipping the direction. And, of course, I can also go beyond that. And the other interesting thing is if it's 0, well, there's uh, no length there. So that's essentially what multiplying a vector is. Now let's talk a little bit about a more practical, very basic, simple, practical example. So if I I'll put this guy, what I've got here is just a sphere, which is hidden. And I'm creating strands along the normals of the sphere. So this is just a compound that Bifrost comes with. This is my own stuff, but it's nothing fancy. It's just a bunch of strands nodes and here I'm just creating the color. I made a video on that and this I've just packaged this up into a compound. And um, let's make these a little thinner. Maybe make the sphere a bit smaller and a little more low res. Something like this. So now if I want to change the length of these strands because they're created along the normals, what I can do is I can just scale the normals, right? And I know how to do that because I've just shown how to do that. So um, let's get the point normals. And eventually we also have to set the point normal like that. Everything is going to disappear for the moment, but that's okay. So what do you want to do? We want to multiply them. Maybe I just want to vary them a little bit. So I'm going to multiply each point normal by a random value. And this is normally just going to output a single value. But if we feed in an array of indices, we can get an array of uh, values. So let's use uh, this guy here, get array indices. Plug it in here, use this for my index, and I don't know, maybe I want them to be between 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and 1.5. And now I just multiply those, these are a bunch of scalars now, I just multiply them by the point normal, set the point normals back, and what we get is a varying length. So this is uh, a simple, practical example of scaling normals. And of course, we can fine tune it here, change the seed. And finally, what we could also do is animate them over time. So here in the multiply, I can just take time and maybe use the seconds, multiply those by the values, and if I hit play now, I can get them animated over time. And 
maybe might want to scale this down further and create another value node. Let's say I want it twice as fast. Plug that in here. All right, so this is a multiplication by a scalar.